The Three Billy Goats, Buff Once upon a time, in the land of Gainesville, there lived three billy goats who were anything but ordinary. These goats weren't just into nibbling grass and climbing hills. No, these guys lived for the pump, the grind, and the glory of the gym. They were Big Buff Bruno, Ripped Ricky, and their little sister, the deceptively strong and full of surprises, Tiny Tina. The goats had one goal in mind, to win the prestigious goat competition. That's right, the greatest of all time contest for Billy Goats. It was an event where the buffest, strongest and swollest Billy Goats gathered to prove their might. But there was one small, okay big, problem. To get to the competition, they had to cross a bridge. A bridge guarded by none other than El Toro the Terrible a troll who also happened to be a Lucha Libra wrestling legend. And this troll didn't let anyone cross without a proper wrestling showdown. Now, our buff goats weren't ones to back down from a challenge, but they were also on a tight schedule. Leg day waits for no one. A short while. Later, at the Bridge of Doom and flexing, big buff Bruno led the pack his enormous biceps gleaming in the sun, and his protein shaker rattling as he walked. As they approached the rickety old bridge, a booming voice rang out from underneath it. Who dares to cross the bridge of El Toro the Terrible? came the roar. With a dramatic somersault, El Toro leaped up from under the bridge, landing perfectly on both feet. He was decked out in a glittering red and gold wrestling mask, cape, flowing behind him like he was headlining WrestleMania. He spread his arms wide and yelled, Lucha Libre! Big Buff Bruno rolled his eyes. Look, man, we're just trying to get to the goat competition. We don't have time for this nonsense. Nonsense! El Toro gasped, as though Bruno had just insulted his mother's cooking. There is no greater honor than facing me in the sacred ring of combat. If you want to cross, you'll have to face me. No one escapes my bridge without a fight. Ripped Ricky, who had been flexing in the background just in case anyone was taking selfies, stepped up. Fine, but how about this? We'll do it three on one. We'll tag team you and still get to the competition in time. El Toro's eyes gleamed from behind his mask. Ah, three on one, you say? Now we're talking. He struck a ridiculous pose, flexing his biceps. But if we're going to do this, we do it big. How about we put on a show? All the goat competitors will be there, and we'll give them a match they'll never forget. In front of the whole crowd. Three-on-one tag team, Lucha Libre. I'll even let the little one here take a shot at me. Tiny Tina, who had been silently deadlifting a rock the size of a small car, narrowed her eyes. You're going to regret that, troll. And so, with a shrug and a flex, the goats agreed. They'd cross the Hebridge bridge and face El Toro in the biggest wrestling match of their lives. A short while later, at the goat competition arena. The sun was setting, casting a golden glow over the arena. Goats from all over Gainesville had gathered to see who was the buffest. But little did they know they were about to witness the most ridiculous match of the century. El Toro entered first, somersaulting into the ring, his cape fluttering behind him like he was preparing to face the rock. Ladies and gentle goats, he shouted, his voice echoing across the mountains. Prepare yourselves for a battle of epic proportions. Today, I face not one, not two, but three Billy Goats buff. The crowd roared with excitement. Some of the goats in the front row even held up glittering signs that read Hash Team Toro and Swole Goals. And in this corner, the announcer's voice boomed, from the land of Gainesville, with muscles of steel and calves that could crush coconuts, give it up for Big Buff Bruno, Ripped Ricky, and Tiny Tina, the three Billy Goats buff. The goats, strutted into the ring, flexing and posing like bodybuilders at a competition. 
Bruno ripped off his tank top, Ricky showed off his 12-pack abs, and Tina cracked her knuckles, ready for action. The bell rang. Ding! The match was on. Big Buff Bruno, always the boldest, charged into the ring first. He grabbed El Toro in a lock, muscles bulging like they were about to rip through his skin. But El Toro was slippery, flipping Bruno over his head and landing with a dramatic pose. Ole! he shouted, cape twirling as he showed off his wrestling flair. Next up, Ripped Ricky stormed in, his muscles gleaming like freshly polished armor. He leaped off the ropes and attempted a flying tackle, but El Toro dodged with a graceful cartwheel, landing in another ridiculous pose. You gotta do better than that, amigo, El Toro winked, the crowd eating it up. Ricky groaned, tagging in Tiny Tina. All right, sis, your turn. Tiny Tina cracked her neck, flexed her surprisingly large arms and marched into the ring, locking eyes with El Toro. He gave her a smug smile. Ready to give up, little one? But Tina wasn't about to be outdone. With a move that shocked the entire crowd, she grabbed El Toro and lifted him clean off his feet with a gorilla press slam. The goats in the crowd lost it, bleating wildly and throwing hay in the air. El Toro gasped, genuinely stunned for the first time in his career. I... I submit, he groaned dramatically, waving a tiny white flag he pulled out of nowhere. The crowd erupted in cheers as Tiny Tina stood triumphantly, flexing her muscles for the roaring audience. A short while later at the awards ceremony. As the dust settled, the three Billy Goats buff stood tall on the winner's podium. They were crowned the buffest goats of all time, and the goat title was officially theirs. El Toro, who had recovered from his epic defeat, joined them on stage. You goats put on a good show, he said, rubbing his sore back. Especially you, Tiny Tina. You've got the heart of a true champion. Tina smiled. Maybe next year we'll have a rematch. You might want to start training. El Toro laughed, giving a dramatic bow. I'll be ready, little one. I'll be ready. And so, the three Billy Goats buff, along with their new friend El Toro, celebrated their victory. With their heads held high and their muscles flexed for all to see, they had proven themselves not just as buff Billy Goats, but as true legends of the goat competition. The end. Or is it?